Alright guys, um, this is just a quick video about my, um, the road ahead in my life that I see. So, um, I'm a big fan of that episode in The Inbetweeners where Jay says, oh guys, come to my caravan club, um, that, um, that my parents go to and, um, and, uh, you know, everyone goes you know, like we'll all get laid, and they will go on the, um, they will go on this caravan club, and then, uh, no one gets, none of them get laid. I mean, apart from Neil, but you know, uh, anyway, I think life's kind of has its similarities to that, where you think if you're the reason you're unsuccessful, or you're unhappy, or you're bad with women, um, you know, or whatever it is, is because you're just in the wrong place, you know, not being appreciated, you know, like, especially with the romantic movement, um, you know, we had this idea that you're just misunderstood, you know, uh, you're a great artist, but your time just doesn't recognise you, recognise you, um, uh, you know, we really like that idea, um, but I think it's actually quite a toxic way to live your life, because, the minute you take a bit of responsibility for your own unhappiness, that's where things really start to change. And um, I've really embodied this methodology myself. Um, and I'm still, you know, I've really sort of, um, I mean, I, I think there's a lot of style dimensions that I, I can read this through. But I think the best one to do it through is... Um, um, like relationships with girls, right? So I live in like a small village. Well, that's where I'm from. Um, well, I was born in London, you know, lived, raised as a child, I lived in Colchester. Um, and then my, my family moved out to a village uh, about half an, half an hour away from Colchester. Um, and growing up, I always thought, um, you know, I was quite... Um, I uh, often blamed my kind of, you know, the small village that I was from for the reason, um, as being the reason why I wasn't wasn't living more, you know, wasn't seeing more girls, basically. I thought, uh, if I go to uni, I'll be around lots more girls and things will be different. Um, and I mean, it's true that, you know, I went to uni, I probably had a bit more female attention. But not by much. And if I'm honest, I think I could have got the same experiences that I got out of university um, at home. You know, and obviously, I'm not saying there aren't limits to this. You know, if you're, if you're living in the Isle of, you know, some island in northern Scotland, it's, you know, maybe it's, there are, I'm not saying there aren't extreme versions of this. But... Uh, it's amazing what you can solve if you look within. Um, so I've really embodied this this approach, and I'm really starting to see how it's going to pan out. You know, so I've got the meditation because um, I think I've always been very um, the way I sort of think and act is very fast and. Uh, sort of sh shy. I mean, I'll, I'll do a whole other video about this, but basically, I think I I see it in other people now. Um, partly because I've done a lot of meditation myself, but I I think there's um, I, I think I often appear quite um, sort of almost hostile on a subconscious level towards people. Um, and that's affected my dating prospects, so, you know, I've got the meditation, um, fitness, you know, I've never been, I've always been skinny, I've, you know, I've been in relatively good shape, but never been very muscular, um, and so I've started getting into that, that's going to help. Dress sense, um, that's something I'm um, improving on, um, I actually lost a bunch of my clothes uh, recently, because I left my uh, bag on a, a train so um so that's something you know but you know buying new clothes um and 
you know, just gem- it sounds silly, but just general hygiene. Um, and I can see all this stuff coming together. Um, and it's a very slow prog- process. And, you know, life's busy, so it's difficult to fit all these things together. Um, so I'm, I'm very patient with myself. And I'm patient with the progress I expect to see. Because I know it will take a while before, you know, I, I didn't really realise this until quite recently. But I'm actually having very high standards. Um, or, or, you know, <laughs> I, well, I mean, I always knew, I just kind of realised, I don't, know, I don't think they're that high compared to what most people want. I think most people have kind of similar standards. Um, but, um, but yeah, I just realised, actually, if I actually want this kind of stuff, I've got to go out and get it, you know. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, it's going to take a while to, to get to this stage of my life uh, where I've got what I want. Um, and until I do, life's just going to be the same. Um, same as it always has been. But uh, I'm optimistic. And I think I, was, I know I will see change. Um, but it's just a case of, you know, it's just a long, long process, basically.